Hi everyone, this is Thomas from the Babylon JS team. Today we're doing the part two of our video series that takes us into the amazing journey of creating an augmented reality portal in WebXR. Let's look at uh, a bit more in detail into what we're going to do today. Um, see this little torus here and how I'm placing um, the portal at its specific location? That's what we're gonna do today along with the basis uh, for our um, uh, playground of the code of our application. And also we're going to learn how to do some remote debugging, which is essential in WebXR. So if you have, uh, for instance, an Android phone and you don't have yet um, enabled developer mode, you go to settings, go to the build number, literally like press like 20 times, something like this on the build number. Then you get an error message asking you if you want to enable the developer mode, and then you can enable USB uh, remote, uh, remote debugging. Once you've done this, um, you can go on your desktop or your laptop, you can go to the inspect uh, um, local page there. You get access to a list of all the different URLs that have been accessed from your, uh, from your device, from your Android phone. And then by clicking one, you are executing it on the device, but you see the results remotely from uh, your desktop. Uh, and then you get all the richness, right? All you get all the error message, all the debugging information that you actually need when you when you're coding, right? So I'm going here into AR mode and uh, I'm getting all the all the messages. So this is really something you have to do, otherwise you will get crazy, uh, you know, doing all this round trip between your device and um, and the desktop. In some cases, you really need to be on the device, but most of the time, remote debugging, uh, you know, helps saving a lot of time. All right, let's get in now into the code of our um, of today's session. And you see here, I am on the my desktop, my coding, my coding environment. And it's since the desktop, I don't have um, AR on it. So I'm getting some UI here and an error message. And this is this line here where I'm detecting if uh, AR is supported by the device. And then I'm creating some UI using the Babylon GUI uh, library creating a rectangle, creating a, a stack panel where I can uh, stack all the different UI controls uh, on top of each other. And so the other control is like a text control, text block control. And then depending on um, this Boolean that tells me if AR is available or not, I'm displaying a different text uh, in, this, uh, in this box there. All right, that's the basic stuff you need to do. Uh, second step is uh, we saw in the last episode how to uh, use the leverage um, the experience helpers that are done in the implementation of WebXR in Babylon. They do everything for you, right? So um, here I'm saying that I want an immersive AR, I want an AR session, basically. That's where I, I uh, stipulate this information. And I'm also using a reference space type. A reference space, it's, um, uh, there are different methods if you want to uh, specify the origin and the orientation of uh, you the coordinate system in your application. So it's kind of like a, a bridge between the real world and your 3D scene. In this case, uh, I'm um, using the local floor. Um, so I'm saying that the actual physical ground that is detected, uh, I want this to be at the y equal um, zero. That's what this means in this line. And uh, that's very important. So I can, uh, you know, uh, place my object into um, the, um, the real world. Those lines here, just very simple, like, uh, you know, is this UI available or not? When I'm in X, I don't want to see any uh, UI, right? So depending on where I'm at in the session, I uh, show it or not. Next step here is to um, create, get the uh, feature manager, and then from the feature manager, get the, X, um, the heat test um, module, the heat test feature. Uh, I'm also getting the camera, but I'll, uh, I don't think I'm using it in the rest of the code here in this um, first part. Then I'm creating the marker that you see uh, on the screen, the little torus. I'm adding some material to make it look a little nicer. I'm moving it to the heat test position, wherever the phone is, is looking, right, uh, uh, on the floor. And then that's re what's really new also in this, um, in this example is I am loading an object. So it could be any 3D object, like a GLTF um, object. In this case, I'm using a Gaussian splat. So I, I scanned uh, a rug in my house and made a 3D object out of it. Uh, and I'm loading it here. 
Uh, I'm making sure it's not visible at the beginning. I just want to load it. I'm scaling it. Usually there is always some adaptation between the real world and your 3D scene. And I'm making sure I'm using quaternions for um, when I deal with rotation. So my object is loaded. It's not visible. And that's kind of like the heart of um, the demo here. Whenever I'm pointing uh, with my finger on the screen of the phone here, um, that's when, you know, if everything is OK, which means I have results from the heat test, I am in XR and the object hasn't yet appeared because we just want this to happen once, then I'm going to uh, make my 3D object, uh, my rug, uh, visible, and I'm going to put it at the position of the, at the heat test um, position, right? So uh, let's, for you to see, really visualize, let's see the, the end result. I got the UI at the beginning. Yes, it is available, so it's the right thing. I got this little torus, it's following the floor. And when I press, then the object appears. Um, like I say here, it's, it's a rug in this case. But uh, of course, in our, uh, in our demo, it's, it's going to be a portal. And that will be actually the, the topic of the next uh, session. So far, we created the basis uh, here. We know how to place an object. Now we're going to stop a little bit uh, doing some WebXR. And we're going to do the portal uh, that you see at the beginning. We're going to do some special effect in the next uh, in the next session. So I hope you enjoy today's session. You have all the URLs uh, below here in the comments, uh, and see you next episode. Bye all. Bye bye.